Happy National Home Improvement Month. Let's just go over um, a few ways to kind of narrow your focus or help you get started on what project you wanna start first. So one, let's focus on functional needs first. So if you have any leaks or windows that aren't working, start with those first. Um, as far as leaks, you don't know what's hiding underneath there in terms of rotted wood. Something small that you see is like small water coming in through your window could actually be causing a bigger problem, rotting a lot of wood in those walls underneath or behind the drywall. Um, and then, you know, you want everything to function right. You don't want to be not wanting to open your windows just because they're hard to open. Um, I would start with those functional needs first. Two, minimize maintenance. Um, everybody has a long list of things that they know they can do. Sometimes they're short tasks, sometimes they're long tasks, but um, in reality, sometimes it's better money spent to hire somebody or purchase a project that makes your maintenance a lot easier. Um, an example of that would be leaf protection on your gutters. If you hate cleaning your gutters, maybe think about buying some high quality leaf protection where I mean, the most you would have to do is brush the leaves off the top. Um, that would be money well spent in my opinion. Another thing that homeowners look over is caulking around windows. Um, some siding requires caulking to be updated. I would definitely hire a contractor to come take a look at that, scrape off the old caulking and put in new. Um, homeowners can do it, but a contractor doing it is very skilled and will make the caulking look a lot better. Um, okay, the third thing you can do, which I think is the most fun, is update your curb appeal. Um, this is where you can really show your personality and um, play with some fun products that you might not have chosen um, originally just because they're purely aesthetic reasons. Um, you can add some gable accents like small corbels or get a real cedar starburst in your gable. Um, some people can tear down their horizontal siding and add in something like a shake or vertical siding called board and batten in there. Um, just really changes the look of your home. Um, you could paint or replace your shutters or entry door um, to add some color. That's a super easy way if you choose to paint. Also super easy to replace. You know, you just screw off, screw on. Um, obviously the door has to fit. Um, and then the other thing is your garage door. A lot of homeowners wait a long time to replace their garage door because it still works. Well, some things to consider is it makes up about 30% of your home's front around um, and most homeowners it's their main entrance into their home they don't use their entry door they use their garage door they pull their car in shut the garage door and then go inside um, so it might be worth spending the money depending on how much space your garage door takes and how often you use it 